So I was scrolling through speedrun.com and I saw this under the Kaya Perico Heist solo section. Someone has completed all of the setups and the finale in 17 minutes and 57 seconds. This was done three months ago by BitSow. So we're going to watch it today and react to it and see exactly how this is done and to see what we can learn or just see how speedrunners are doing this because this seems absolutely bizarre. And look guys, as you can see here, this video only has, what, 3,000 views. He only has 1.5 thousand subs. So before we react to this, get this open in a separate tab. I'll leave a link to this video in the description below. Let's try and get him to like 10k subs. I, he deserves it for getting the world record for Kaya Brico solo. Alright, 17 minutes, 57 seconds, all of the highest Intel N Finale world record. Let's have a look. Finest field operative I have ever had the pleasure of coordinating. All right, so he's started gathering till he's job teleported. And he's quitting the job instantly. So this is going to get him to fast travel, yeah? Oh, what's going on? No way that spawns you right here. Dude, I can only imagine how many times he had to try this to get this exact spawn for the plane. All right, he's spamming snacks. Not even killing anyone. So this is the closest spawn for this plane to Kai Mariko. So he would have had to keep restarting this until he got that exact one. Because he teleported before he even knew where it was. Is flying in first person? I need to look this up. Does flying in first person make it go faster? It doesn't, does it? I don't think it does. I love how this is just the speed run, but even even though this is a speed run, flying to Kaya Perico is still boring. All right, so we just fly. Let's skip ahead. <laughs> Let's skip ahead. We get it. You fly to Kaya Perico. He's on Kaya now. I want to see which route he takes for the gather intel. How's he going to get to the communications tower? Because whichever way he goes, that absolutely means that that is the fastest way, because he's got the world Buddy, record. Spinning a... So let's see. Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Arms out, let's go. Or maybe it's a she, I don't know. Got a female character. Okay, wait over there. They will bring it soon. Go on. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Hey, hang on a second. He's got the sparrow here. How's he done this? Did he... I can't see anything that he's... they've done. How did they get the sparrow on here? I know you used to be able to, like, get, you know, Oppressor Mark II over here, but... So we're just flying to the tower, I guess that makes sense. That would be the fastest way to get there. The Sparrow is one of the fastest helicopters in the game. But there's no guard there, that means it's on the bottom. You can do that? You can just phase through that wall? Okay, nicely done. That was really quick. I didn't know you could phase through that wall. I have connection. You can, use it with the you can start the opening the, the door process on the other side of the fence. Interesting. In the basement. Gonna find out what's in the vault. Oh my god, that was quick. He's on PC for sure. And why they are so, so you job teleport off the island as well. 
interesting. I didn't even know you could do that. You just job teleport off the island. What's, hold on, what's he done here? He's job teleported somewhere else again. What's he done? Let's have a look in All of this happens so quick. Bookmark, okay, so he's got a, a job bookmark there that he's going to fast travel to. All right, back out. Yep, you're going to teleport up there. Black screen. Hang on a minute. How did he get in his cassette? So this must be a job he's created, no? In order to make this this fast, he's got this bookmark job. Interesting. Okay. He's just got all these books. He, he knows every job he needs to teleport to. He knows the exact location that these setups are going to be at. He's turned his engine on in the vehicle before he's even got in it. Now that's next level, man. Oh, a death, a death. Leaving the, he's leaving the long fin behind? Are they fast traveling? What's going on? Fast travels to the docks. And for some reason, the Phantom Wedge is there with the boat. Teleports with him. Interesting. Okay, so he's named the job Kasatka Interior. So he can fast travel to his Kasatka whenever he wants. Interesting. Okay. So that, that's the fastest I've ever seen a long fin get done. Like, what? What was that, like a minute? Let me move me up here. You bookmark job. Actually, I'll move myself over this side. So we can see him on his phone. He's got another quick job set up. No, he's got safe codes. That's going to be the fastest. Teleports to its job over at the safe code at the Diamond Casino. Got it. He's in, he's in the penthouses already. He's even spawned at the perfect so, door. Alright, why are we calling Pegasus here? Well, as my uncle would say, they also cannot hear you when they are dead. I don't get it. I don't get it. What's, what's this for? Why has he done that? Got the, he's got the perfect spawn on the save code guy as well. Got the codes, and then he's going to teleport. Got codes now, teleport out. Wow. This guy has perfected it, man. What are we at now? 8 minutes 20. He's about halfway through the run. Doing the fingerprint cloner now. Fast travel to the other job. <laughs> this is honestly insane, dude. When you think about it, none of it is really that... Okay, an RPG, right. None of it is really that complicated. But they just know what they're doing. Perfectly. And they've got all the right spawns. Which is helping them. Right, that's done. 
<laughs> gonna go to the next job that's gonna have the second location. Okay. So we can see the process now. We know what's going on. And once you've got that down, it's sort of just a matter of turn the engine on again. That's that's like that's a neat trick for speed. We know what's going on, it's just sort of a matter of getting the perfect spawns at this point. And it looks like they've got the perfect spawns for pretty much everything. Interesting that they're not just teleporting back to the cassette car. Maybe it doesn't work for this job? That's the only thing I can think of. Hang on a minute. How do you get the cassette car here? This is, this is wild. They would have got the Kasatka there because he has a job set up that moves his Kasatka there. Right, got it. That's still wild. Doing, what's this, cutting torch now. Leaving the Kasatka. Got the Oppressor Mark II right there. Got probably the best spawn for the construction site. Not there. There it is. Got it on the second one he checked as well. That's pretty good. And then right back. And it's time to get the weapons. Hang on. I, I just need to check how long this mission took. So so we're at what? 11.25 mark. Started at 1040. That mission took 45 seconds. 45 seconds! What the? <laughs> that is insane. That is actually nuts. I know it, the concept of it isn't really that hard once you've got your job set up, but wow. Okay, 707 Vespucci as well got the perfect job. You didn't get the, the one where you need to follow the helicopter to the Avenger. That's a little bit of luck, I guess. And then afterwards, we destroy it all. The only way to be safe, not sorry, yes? We leave behind a single piece of the jigsaw, Mr. Rubio. I'm still confused about the calling Pegasus thing. If you know what that's for in the comments below, let me know. What What's the whole concept of calling Pegasus there? Just go in guns blazing. He's calling Pegasus again. Ah, uh, is this to stop the voice lines? So that you can open stuff faster? That could be it. And of course they're in first person so that they run faster. All the nerves, the nerves. Found it, that was pretty quick. Okay, got it. So, hold on. Once they finish this, the entire weapon setup goes from 11.40 to 13.40. So, two minutes for this mission. That is just insane. That is insane. And then he's on to the finale. Oh, man. Okay, maybe this is, you know what, people like this is why we got the Kaya Perico nerf. Imagine making one and a half million dollars every, like, what's that, 15, uh, 20 minutes? Ugh. Oh. Imagine. On to the finale. Alright, the moment we've been waiting for. Longfin, main dock. Drainage tunnel entrance, airstrip exit, but he's not going to exit airstrip, he's going to jump off. Just jump off the island and swim, I would assume. Okay, let's see the speed run. I'm assuming they're not going for elite. I don't think they're doing elite challenge. 
All right, now I've seen this before. You blow yourself up at the perfect spot here, and it's actually going to teleport you up to the land. Right here. I also believe there's a bike. Yep, there's the bike. Now you just drive the bike. Somehow didn't get spotted there. That's interesting. Don't know how that didn't alert the guards. That guy shot a fair bit. Interesting. Got the gate key codes though. Yo! Yo, no way! Oh, dude, that's so funny. It would have been even funnier if you killed the guy there, but that's... Hey, that's a strat. That's how you get here fastest, but he has been spotted. They've been spotted, so stealth is broken. But let's see how fast they can do this. Wait, 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 stealth isn't broken? Got the key. So maybe because they broke stealth as they started the animation, I'm assuming, that's why it bugged out, right? So it didn't actually spot him because it all happened so quick. See how fast they do the fingerprints. Okay, what's that? 12 seconds. Could have been faster, honestly. Nah, I'm being overly critical. That's, that's pretty damn fast. Come on. Alright, gate key. Oh, he's got the safe code. Of course, running in first person because it's faster. Safe code is 86 54 29. This has to be so nerve-wracking, because undoubtedly they've got like a timer or a clock set up and they know they're on pace to beat the world record. I can only imagine how fast your heart would be beating at this point. So that's the fastest way out, interesting. Okay, gonna run around this guy, get out. Nice, fair enough. Even still, even when you're speedrunning, the character does not know how to open the gates. Ah, there we go. The button. Who would have thought? Just like every other time. Well done. The compound is done. The only thing left to do is escape. Carry and then just go off the normal way, I would assume. Got spotted, but it doesn't matter. We've only got a few seconds left in this heist. Every second counts at this point, so I can understand why they did that. Instead of going around them. Swim out to the to the sea mines. Right there, and that should be it. That should be it. There we go. Done. Done. And the time is at 18 minutes and 5 seconds. Well, 17.57. Because they didn't start it for a couple seconds after the video started. But man. Well done. Well done. That's absolutely mental. The fact that you've got so many jobs set up at the perfect spots. And you've got the perfect spawns for all of it as well. Man, that's going to take some work to beat. That's going to take some real work to beat. The finale was done in 3 minutes 25, man. Oh, that's insane. Well done. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm leaving a link in the description. Let's get them to 10,000 subs. If you break a world record, I think you deserve, deserve some subscribers and some views on YouTube. Because that's absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. Well done. So, we'll wrap the video up there. If you enjoyed, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Hope you're staying safe, and I will see you in the next video. Man, look at that. That's insane. Boy! Favorite color, money green. I've been on my grind since I was in the seventh grade. Had my first kid, I was only 17. Always a provider for my pack like Wolverines. But you won't find
find me on the mountaintop. Need no calculator, I 